Hi guys, it's Kelly here from Spiritual Awakening Signs and I help people like you who are going through awakening to ease your symptoms and make the whole process much easier and that's kind of what we're getting into today. The video that we're doing is Spiritual Awakening, why is my life falling apart? Why does that happen? Um, and what I can say is if you're going through that right now or if you've found that you've had aspects of that throughout your awakening, it's very, very common and we're going to get into all the reasons why that happens and what you can do to start putting your life back together again, to start recovering from the intensity and the shock, even though it's wonderful, of spiritual awakening and start putting things back together. So I can see we've got quite a few people have joined us already. Please say hello and let us know that you've joined. And of course, let us know if you resonate with anything that we're talking about in this video. Has your life fallen ap apart since your awakening has started? Does everything seem to fall down? Is everything really difficult? Is there are a lot more obstacles to overcome? Life can really change when awakening hits and uh, it can be a bit like, you know, a whirlwind. It's a, it's a bit shocking. So, a few people have joined us already. We've got Maria, hello there. We've got Enchante, hi there. We've got Jackson as well. Let's see who else is able to join us today. But yeah, I can see Enchante saying, yep, it has. She's resonating with this life falling apart. So we're going to get into all the content of that so that you can start making some improvements and making it much better because it doesn't need to be that way. And there is a number one reason why this happens and we're going to talk about it today. So the first thing that I want to cover is we're talking about the fact that life falls apart. So by that, I mean things like everything starts to go wrong, obstacles start to get in your way, things that did work before just seem to crumble, relationships, friendships, uh, even things in work, you know, any aspect of your life can dissolve and really big changes can happen too. Now that doesn't happen necessarily to everyone, but you can have really big life shifts as part of awakening, which can make it really, really difficult to move through. It's not uh, uncommon, it's something that I hear all the time. It's like, why do I seem to be getting all this spiritual insight? Why do I feel like I'm growing spiritually, but everything around me is getting so much worse? Um, but yeah, it can be really difficult. And the reason that that tends to happen is because when we go through awakening, what we're really doing is we're on a, a journey of soul healing. We're on a, a journey of taking all the information from all the lifetimes that we've lived, so everything up until now, taking all the information and the wisdom and the guidance that we can we can gain from that and letting go of all the pain. So it really is a process of soul healing. That is the most important thing. That's what's going to get you back to your true authentic self. That's what's going to align you with your wisdom and that's what's going to help you to fully embody your soul here as a spiritual being without all the limitations and all the frustrations and all the obstacles that have been put in your way because of old damage. It's all just old damage. So it's about healing, which is the most important thing. Now you'll heal on lots of different levels throughout awakening, but the one level that I can tell you I see all the time causes the most life disruption, meaning the, the one that causes the most issues to actually play out in real life is genetics. So we're talking genetic wounds. Now I'm going to explain a little bit about that so you've got a deeper understanding of exactly what that means because it's really not covered very often in spiritual awakening, but I found time and time again in my own experience and in experiences with my clients, it's all about healing and clearing the genetic template that you've been born into and that's what's going to shift all the stuff that's playing out in your life, okay? So to give you an understanding, what, what really happens energetically and what I certainly see happening is that when you incarnate into any family, you pick up their genetic template and what we mean by that is kind of like an energetic map of the world. It's all the information, it's all the guidance um, and all the kind of wisdom that your ancestors want to keep passing down. So someone gets a little bit of learning and it gets passed down like a map of the world onto the next person. And then we grow up and we have certain beliefs and perspectives and kind of energies that we're living in as a result of everything that's been before us. Now, of course, this is supposed to be a positive thing. It's supposed to help you survive and thrive. It's supposed to be really a, a good thing to help you out. But what also happens is, as part of that map, you also get faulty belief systems that get caught in there because your ancestors could have had experiences where they were wrong. They could have made faulty beliefs about the world. They could have believed things like, nothing good ever happens for me. Money is evil. Um, I'll always be unloved. Um, 
there's no use trying to get anywhere because you won't get anywhere. So try and think about some of the things that you see playing out in your family because they'll stand out to you because you're of a soul that's from a different vibration and you see the issues that are in your family. These are the things that we're healing because as much as we've got all the wonderful wisdom in that energetic template that gets passed down, it's also like programming for our lives, which means that we are as limited as our ancestors were. We're never going to move past the blocks and the limitations of our family and the people before us. And that is a real problem because when awakening hits, all of that stuff that's faulty and that needs to go gets activated. So all of a sudden you're living your daily life and it's like, why, why am I going through a bankruptcy? Why am I getting divorced? Why is everything going wrong? Why, you know, are people that I care about moving halfway across the world? Why is everything going wrong? Why do I have no money? Why have I lost my job? It's like everything starts to break down and what you can bet and what we've found when we're doing healing is that it's not yours. It comes from another time. So all the drama, most of the drama that you're dealing with in your awakening right now, if it's playing out in your daily life through friendships, relationships, work, uh, interactions with other people, if it's happening externally, it's most likely genetic wounds that are rising up to the surface to be healed. So that's when you start to see things that may even be quite recent. It's like, God, this happened to my mum at the same age as I am now. Or gosh, that happened to my granddad. This, this is really strange how this is the same. If you find yourself saying, isn't it odd? <laughs> isn't it a coincidence how? It's not a coincidence. It's the energetic patterning of the trauma and the pain and the upset and the faulty beliefs that's been passed down because your ancestors think they're doing you a favour and it starts playing out in your daily life when awakening is activated so that you can work through it, so that you can heal that family template for everyone to come in the future. Now, it's challenging because all the stuff that's coming up for you right now that's playing out in your life, like I said, is not yours. Genetic wounds are the number one cause of life disruption. They are the thing that really kick everything off, make it really messy, make it really difficult. You know, you feel like, oh my God, I can't take any more. Like I literally can't handle this. That's what creates that feeling because you're not just dealing with your own stuff, you're dealing with all your ancestor stuff and that could be as recent as your mum or your dad it could be their parents their parents parents it could be a family that moves out to the side a little bit we all get impacted by the energies of that and it's really overwhelming and it's really exhausting and that would be the key way to tell if you're feeling like you're completely exhausted and drained and there's just constantly more issues more problems more drama genetic wounds will be at the heart of that but all is not lost so although it does cause massive havoc, it causes chaos, it causes difficulty, it can make awakening really tough to bear. You know, you're just doing your best to kind of white knuckle ride, hold on and hope that you're going to get to the end. But the problem with that is that it's not going to clear up unless you do anything about it. And I can say this from experience. It was actually the one level that I kind of tended to ignore a little bit in my healing practice. And I did so much healing to get myself through that worst part of awakening. But genetics was the thing that I kind of thought was a little bit boring. I didn't really see how spiritual it was. I didn't really think it applied to me. Um, and it wasn't until I started working on that genetic stuff, looking at things that are in myself or that are playing out in the people around me, that's like, oh, that's like a family member. That's a family trait. That's something that I really don't like. And I wish I could remove it from my family, that, that trait or that characteristic. It's all the family stuff and it's their damage and their baggage that's going to play out in your life. So, like I said, all is not lost. You can actually heal this, um, which is it's absolutely fascinating to heal. You can heal this, you can move past it and you can start to calm things down in your life. Because what I've found is that generally when I'm working with people who are going through spiritual awakening, there's kind of a, a soul level vow that we've all made. When we incarnate into a family, because we are coming from a different vibration, we kind of come in with the energy of, I'm going to heal this genetic template for this family. So we go into the ones that are really messed up, they're really dysfunctional, they're incredibly difficult, and they've got all these problems. We love them, but gosh, they've got so many problems. And we end up sometimes getting damaged by that in our childhood and definitely being affected by it later in life. It causes a lot of problems. So what we can do is we can start to heal that. And the wonderful thing about that is when we start to heal that for ourselves, everything starts to calm down. Awakening then kind of calms down to the point where you're really only dealing with your own stuff. 
and that's enough. <laughs> when you're just dealing with your own stuff, it's actually quite manageable. You're just dealing with your own stuff. You can get all the family stuff cleared out. But the wonderful thing about it is it's not just about you healing your stuff for you. When you do that, you're healing the genetic template. So you're also sending healing to every ancestor that was ever negatively affected. Anyone who ever went through any trauma, because their souls will still be carrying that trauma, that pain, those dysfunctional thoughts. We can send the healing back and clear them. And then even more fantastically, you can change that pattern to a healthy blueprint for anyone that comes after you. So even if you already have children, it'll start to change the energetic genetic template for them and forwards as well. So you've changed it for all time. It's an incredible thing. And I know that as souls, that's what we chose to do. That's why we incarnate into really challenging family dynamics. Um, so what I do have, I'll take some questions and stuff, but what I do have is a free resource that will help you to clear this. Uh, we've got a, a free masterclass which will show you how to heal your genetic wounds, how to free your spirit from family issues, we mean all the negative characteristics and the traits, and calm your awakening experience. That's what it's all about and it's totally free and I would advise you to get started on it right now. Um, there's a link in the description where you can go and start watching that and just start it apply the techniques and the guidance that we're sharing there so that you can start moving through this so that you can take a deep breath genetic wound healing really is the deep breath of awakening it's like oh finally that's things are going to be okay um so you can calm it down massively you don't need to keep struggling through this you don't need to find some depth of strength and endurance there's no medals for that that's not what this is about it's about healing moving forward and getting past it so um, yeah, in the, uh, in the masterclass we show you everything that you need to know and we tell you exactly how you can move through it step by step to really bring that healing to the forefront so that you can calm things down and you can do it really quite quickly. So check that out and see if it feels like uh, it's going to be helpful and beneficial to you right now. And I'm just going to see, we've got a few um, comments, so I just want to, and any questions that you've got you can ask as well. Um, I can see David saying uh, sometimes we have to make life changes. Yes, big call for life changes because of course this negative stuff comes up and we realise that we're going to have to make adjustments. It's, uh, we recognise that it's not always accurate. It's time to change. Uh, and I can see Oshanti says, I said this yesterday and I said this last night so it's coming up for you in a big way just now. So guys, get on to genetic wound healing. Heal that aspect of yourselves because we're in a position right now where the energies are really heightened. It's a high, high vibration that we're in right now, which means that you can actually heal through things with our technique that we're going to share in the masterclass in themes. You don't need to heal every single ancestor and every single experience of which there would be thousands. You just take a theme and we're able to heal and work through that. So if it's a theme of, say, there's narcissism in your family or neglect or say that everyone's just a bit inconsiderate or maybe their emotions are really shut down, you can take a theme and you can move it through the entire history of your genetics and your uh, your ancestors' energy. It's absolutely fascinating and it always is accompanied with, oh my gosh, that's why that is, oh my gosh, that's why that is. And it, you just get all these aha moments which are really, really cool. It's just really cool. So you can tell that I'm very passionate about it, but do have a look at the free masterclass, enjoy it, apply the techniques and let's get healing and calming your awakening down getting rid of some of the stress so that you can move into the happier, brighter aspects of awakening and all the joy that that can bring. So have a good day and I'll see you guys soon.